Okay, welcome back to another Flexbox video. And in this video, I'm going to cover something called uh, source ordering or ordering in Flexbox. Now, one of the really cool things that you can do uh, with Flexbox is that it allows us to keep the source order in the HTML, um, which is really helpful for things like accessibility or a screen reader. Um, you can lay out the page where it makes sense uh, to bots like Google. Uh, who's coming to your website in order to gather the information. So you can make a semantic, semantic in the sense that it's easy for, to understand for uh, robots that are coming to your page. But for those who are coming to your page and can see it visually, then you're able to actually reorder the elements on the page visually without changing the source order. Now what we've had to do before was we've had to do all kinds of floats and we've had to do all types of uh, um, you would just have to take one of these if you wanted box number six to be at the front you would have actually had to take this and you would have copy it and then you'd have to put box number six at the front and then that would move uh, this purple box to the front so that was the way that we had to do um, ordering before uh, whenever we're using floats or when you're using things like bootstrap uh, that type of stuff so um, what we can do now is we can use the same order, the same source order in our HTML, and then we can actually, <clears throat> um, we can keep this source order here, and we can move these boxes around visually. And so that's what, uh, one of the things that Flexbox and Grid also allows you to do this as well. So that'll be coming um, in the future. Let's see, we got a little slowness with the computer here. There we go. All right, so one of the things uh, I'll show you here, we have um, we have this box wrapper. So every um, if I make this box wrapper the flex element, then all of the children of the flex element are going to be flexed. Okay, so they're going to be the ones who are taking the flex um, properties. So I put display flex on the box wrapper. And then I've done a flex wrap. I've covered that in a previous video. So it, it makes it so that it wraps like that. Uh, set the max width. So this centers, you know, this centers everything. You put the max width at 700 pixels across uh, for this element. And then you do the margins auto, which is going to um, leave the space on the edges until it starts to come up to that 700 pixels. And then it'll begin to interact with the screen. So just for the sake of presentation, <laughs> doing something like that. Um, and then each box is 100 by 100 with the background originally uh, this color here, but then I've gone through and I've actually given each one its own separate background. Uh, there's a little bit of margin in between each one, so 5 on each side, which amounts to 10 pixels in, the, in between. Um, the color is white. And then I've also flexed uh, each of these boxes, so you can see that I've nested uh, a flex item which you are able to do you're able to make any item uh, any element on the page a flex item any container element on the page a flex item so divs um, <clears throat> trying to think of something else like a section or an aside you know they're the body element the HTML element so there are um, several container elements uh, within the HTML that you can actually turn into a flex item. So I just have these as uh, you can see here in my code. These are just divs uh, with a class of box, and then they each have a number inside of them. So this div I'm turning into a flex, um, a flex item, and then this one, this big wrapper that goes all the way around, I'm also turning into a flex item. So uh, that's what's going on. Um, with the styling so far <clears throat> and then I'm just uh, centering um, justify content centers it horizontally and then a line item centers it vertically which you can see here as I take them away so there's the horizontal centering this is what it looks like originally so we do the centering horizontally and then we do the centering vertically and um, regardless what you do or what you make it uh, look like what shape it is it's going to be centered in the middle of this box element so pretty cool all 
All right, so this is what we want to get to down here. So I just wanted to show you that the default order uh, for these items is one. So each, each item is given a default order of one. And then I didn't necessarily have to do that if I took all these away. Oh, oh. I'm not getting in a hurry. Huh? So if I just take all of these elements away, nothing up here changes because the default source order is one. So I didn't have to write that necessarily, but I'm going to need to do order uh, in just a moment. So I just went ahead and made them all uh, with an order of one. I've changed all the background colors for each one so we can just delineate uh, very quickly and see how the boxes are moving. Now the easiest, um, easiest way to do it is just to show you how they move. Now each of these is an order of one. That means they're all kind of on the same level. Now if you were to change one of these orders, let's say we'll change uh, this one. So instead of being a one, I want to change it to a two. So now it's on an order of level two, and you can see here that our box number five has come at the end. So all of these are kind of on the level one, and then this one is the only one on a level two. Now it's going to show at the end if I take box number four and I just make it zero, then box number four will move to the front. So this was on a zero. All of these are level one. And then you can see this one is at a level two. Now it's a little bit hard to visualize, um, to visual, like to visually come to this, but you just kind of have to understand the concept. And it might be helpful in your CSS to reorder these in the order that you want them to come up here, but it makes more semantic sense to be able to just write it like this and then change the source order. Um, now, what if you want box number two to come before, or uh, I'm sorry, box number six, you want to come before box number four. Now you have to do something special because let's take number six and let's make it a zero, just like this one. And the reason that it doesn't go in front is because in the HTML, the source order is that box number four comes first and then box number six comes second. So you have, it's keeping that source order. So these two are on the same level of the level zero. These are now on a level of level one. And then this is on a level of level two. So in order to move this to the front, you have to keep pushing it farther and farther to the left. So not zero, but you can actually move these things to negative numbers. So you would say negative one. And then now you have this on negative one level. This is a zero. These are one. And then this one is a two. And you can see that we're only touching the CSS. We're not touching any of the source order in the HTML. So everything is still lined up here. And if you are fact, in fact, were to take away all of this styling, you would see that it moves back to box one, two, three, four, five, six, because we've taken away the order and the order is now being drawn, not from the CSS, the order is being drawn from the HTML. So this is source ordering with Flexbox. And it provides you some very powerful ways. And hopefully as we get into more practical examples, you can see, um, you'll be able to see how we can reorder uh, the different elements on the page in order to create something different visually without changing the semantic um, markup of the HTML. So this is one of the powerful features of Flexbox. This is Flexbox ordering. And if you have any questions or if you have any comments, just leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Uh, I'll also leave the pen, the code pen for this, um, in the show, um, I mean, sorry, in the video um, notes, you know, underneath. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, watch the other Flexbox videos if you want to learn more about Flexbox centering or you want to learn uh, more about alignment vertically or horizontally or some of the things that I just showed you about uh, aligning inside of the text box. So if you think that's pretty cool, then uh, check out the um, centering video that I have. And uh, if you think about it, pass this along. If there's somebody who's been asking you about Flexbox and you haven't been able to answer their questions or maybe they're just generally interested, then send them a link to this uh, playlist and I'll be adding to it as we go along. Right, thanks for watching.